Hello everybody, it's Steve OT and welcome to episode 2 of my introduction to World of Warcraft. If you're a beginner and you saw episode 1, you'd have seen that we'd, we'd gone through the realm selection and we're now at the character selection, st character selection stage. So what we're going to be doing is looking at the factions, at the races, the classes and then we will eventually create a character. So hopefully you can see the cursor moving around because last time I forgot to make it visible and we'll look at the humans first let's look at the, um, the the classes and the factions so you've got two factions you've got the alliance and you've got the horde and on the alliance side you've got humans you've got dwarfs you've got night elves you have gnomes you have tranais and obviously if you're beginning and you haven't got the catechism patch which i'll probably assume expansion you haven't you might be able to have this but there's also wargans as well and if we quickly just go through and look at the males so you've got a male human dwarf night elf gnome dranai and there's the wargan on the horde side we have orc undead or forsaken as others would call them tauren troll troll blood elf and a goblin and if we look at the female side, we'll go back up. Blood Elf. Ooh, I love Blood Elf females. Troll. Tauren. Undead. And Orc. So, as I said in the, the first video, you've got a few important decisions to make. You've made your first one, which is your realm selection. Now you're looking at the character. Some people will say, well, I'm going to create a Blood Elf. I know I'm going to create a Blood Elf, or I know I'm going to create a Night Elf, or a Dwarf, or whatever. But if you know what ca what kind of race you're going to do, you firstly you know what side you're going to be on. Some people will say, I want to be Alliance. Well, if you're going to be Alliance, then you also just choose any of these. These are no longer valid. Some will say Horde, or vice versa, so therefore, all, you know, etc. So, deciding whether you're going to be Alliance or Horde isn't always the right way to do it, because some people might want a male undead uh, rogue um, and with undead you try and make them look as ugly as you can you know so usually that's what most people do not give me what I want on that but so you, you know so so again <laughs> you can look on the website and you can say well I really want a Dranai female chamois but then when you get to this screen and you have a look at them you go oh, I don't really like the look of them because with your eyes, for a start, they've got hooves. You might not want a character with hooves, you know. So, all I can suggest you do is you have a look. Now, the other thing you'll notice is down here, this is the actual classes, and not all of them are highlighted. If you want a Draenei, you can't be a rogue, you can't be a warlock, and you can't be a druid. So, again, if you're starting and you say, I want to be a paladin, which is a prime example, and I want to be a horde paladin. Okay, well, let's go. Well, there's the paladin. You can't be a Horde Paladin. Sorry, you can't be an Orc Paladin. You can't be an Undead Paladin. You can be a you can be a Tauren Paladin. That's where they start. That's what they look like. You can't be a Troll. You can be a Blood Elf Paladin. And you can't be a Goblin. So again, if you know what class you want to be, you could be limited. So if you decide you want to be a Shami, a Shaman shaman whatever you want to be and you want to be on the alliance side well let's have a look because there's the the shammy sign there so you can't be a human you can be a dwarf okay you can be a dwarf you can't be a night elf shammy it's not lit you can't be a gnome you can be a draenei and you can't be a worgen so again and it comes down to how you want your character to look because whether you be a male or you be a female it does not change the stats they've got exactly the same strength and all this that and the other it's just it's aesthetic how do you like your character looking i started off playing male characters all my characters are now female i just prefer the look of them you know i mean you look at the the Draenei males i just think they're they're awfully awful characters terrible looking but anyway it's down to personal preference so that's all I can say I can't tell you what's right and what's wrong now the other thing you then need to think of is the role that your character does I'll get off that because I can't stand that it's got something nice so 
you've got three roles within the game. The first role is a tank, the second role is DPS, damage per second, and the third role is to heal. I would suggest if you're starting out with your first character, don't even think about tanking and don't even think about healing to begin with. Um, you won't start really healing until you're level 15 or tanking until you're level 15 until you can start going into dungeons. But I would wait a little bit, get used to running a few dungeons or doing some battlegrounds as DPS or what have you, which we can go into at a later date, battlegrounds and this, that, and I will be talking about the individual classes as I said and, and various other bits and pieces, but my advice is to begin with, just do damage. My personal preference on classes is Paladin, as I've said, that's my main character at the moment, or a Mage, which was my main character. Now, Mages are prolific at dishing out damage. They are really, really powerful, but they're a caster and they do damage from a distance. And so does a warlock, and so does a priest, and all of those wear cloth. So their armor doesn't protect them that much, but they've got other things that will help defend them. A rogue wears leather, as does a druid. Now a rogue will sneak around and be invisible and he'll sneak around behind you and then stab you in the back and slit your throat or god knows what else you want to do. So their classes are melee. So um, the ranged, you've got three ranged there. Okay. Um, that's A hunter is ranged as well but he doesn't use spells and that, he uses bows or guns. And he will also have a pet, a hunter has a pet, he can tame animals. Um, I love the night elf one because you start off cats, I love cats. So if you want to do a hunter, you will get, depending what race you start, will determine what animal you get to start with. Look, you know, you've got boars there, spiders, if you know, if you don't like spiders, we well, don't want to be raging an undead to start with because that's going to be your pet. <laughs> so anyway, so as I said, you really need to look around and, and, de and decide anyway. So a hunter is ranged, a warrior and a paladin are up close with swords and maces and things like that so anyway so I can't tell you what's right and what's wrong because I like my I mean we're, we're gonna raise a blood elf here now I always have my blood elves the same okay I know exactly how it's gonna look so you what you can do is you can hit randomize okay and then it will give you a look or what you can do is you can choose what skin colour you want so we'll go with, I used to go with the, the where's it gone that one the face I usually have is always the same it's usually that one the hairstyle is that one hair colour will be that Oh no, it's not the right hairstyle. That's the hairstyle I have. That's the one I have. And then you can put in some earrings if you like. So we'll go with that. So there you go. So there's my paladin. And then we've got to name it. As I said, over here you've got descriptions of what all the different characters are, which I'm going to go through as I said in a later date. Um, this is just how you create the character. So once you've decided how your character looks, it's very important you get this right because in theory once you've started this character, apart from changing the hairstyle and that, you can't really do much about paying real money. So you want to make sure you get it right. So I'm happy with that anyway just for the test. So we're going to call a devotee and then we're going to hit accept. And there we go. If the name you choose isn't available, it will tell you it's unavailable and they do have specific guidelines on naming. You can't use anything with sexual preference, you can't use anything racist or anything like that, so just be sensible about your name of your character anyway. So now what we're going to do is we will enter world and what was going to happen here is we will then go through a cinematic which is an introduction to the Blood Elf, the class, that, um, the race that you have started and at this point I will actually mute the sound because I think if I play the the cinematic with the sound I might get a copyright I'm not too sure so I'll mute the sound anyway but it's a man talking and he's explaining about the blood elves and how they started and what happened in the wars and you know whatever and, and you get this with every single character that you start it's just an introduction and what it's doing is actually taking you to the start area where your question is going to start so we'll let this run anyway there's someone there just saw them running down so that's someone that is actually a real a real character because this although it's a cinematic it's a real-time cinematic 
so what you're seeing here is not a bit of film that everybody sees the same in regards to set it's a live film okay so in the minute in the distance between some pillars you are going to see a yellow exclamation mark and you will see me standing there possibly there's someone running down here towards us just jumping and is it just me no there's a couple of new characters here here we go that's me but as it comes back there we go so we've got a few people here and that ladies and gentlemen is your first character you can't see my name because obviously I know who I am and that's probably a mage yet yeah, there you go there's a mage there there's another mage there um, and we'll leave it there I think for the moment hello Thesea whatever you want to call it very nice name so we'll we'll leave it there anyway and episode 3 is going to be on the user interface now the user interface is obviously this map to the right it's your character sitting up on the left you've got this chat window and then we're going to go through all these bars down the bottom so that will be episode 3 user interface hope you found it enjoyable and it's given you a bit more information on the character selection and what you do feel free to ask me any questions point out any errors um, but as I said it's really a case with the, the character creation it's down to a personal choice no one can really tell you how your character is going to look apart from you so just play around with it see what you can come up with anyway hope you found it interesting and I will see you all very soon for episode 3 which will be user interface and see you soon from Devotee bye Thank <laughs> you.